This is Buckhurst Hill in Essex. The garden is 120 feet long by 15 feet wide. It's a tall order, this one. And we're doing it for Karen to surprise her. All her friends have called us in. She's a keen gardener. That's another worry. Hello, Willie. Hello, Nana. Are they in? Everyone's waiting for you. They've got... No, everyone's <laughs> waiting. I like that. I'm not that late. I just hope we can cope with it. She has done a lot in there. Yeah. She really works harder. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Willie. Wow. It's not too bad, is wow. it? I thought we could not do it. <laughs> Show up for me. Doug, tell me who you all are. I'm Carol. Right. And you are? Darren. Darren. Now, what's your relationship to all this, Darren? I'm Sarah's husband. Uh, and you're Sarah? Yeah. Sarah's and Sarah and Darren. Mm -hmm. Yes. Carol and... Sarah. Another Sarah. <laughs> So there are two Sarahs, yeah. a Carol and a Darren, mm -hmm. and we're surprising Karen. Yeah, that's right. And you're Chris. I'm Chris. Yeah. Yes. Chris, you're a husband. To Not be. yet. To be. To be. Yes. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks time. Yes. Have, you, have you lost this yet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, these are all friends and about to become intimate relations of Karen. Come round here and let me show you what I thought we do. It goes down like that. That's the way the garden runs. Okay. Here's your house. Here, where this bit of concrete is, we have a blue deck, yellow trellis, little raised pool there, which Charlie will make bubbling up out of that terrace. Uh, cottage garden in the middle. It looks formal with this lawn, circle, and, and paths, but this will all be billowing cottage right. garden plants, it'll soften it. Yeah. Then we come into a vegetable garden. Um, little formal raised beds like that, with, and we've got veg plants coming, so she'll have a growing veg patch when right. she comes back. The and then where the willow tree is down there, we come through two rustic panels into this quiet area, which is all barked mm. all Lovely. the way through, with Sweet. this living willow screen yeah. right. leading up to the willow tree that's in fox gloves. Oh, oh, nice. nice. And yeah, all it? that, my son, in two days. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> With fine weather in prospect, I'm stripping out the whole of the old uneven lawn right away. We're planning to re-turf the central section of the garden later with nice new turf. This lot, I'm afraid, is for the skip. How thoughtful of the original builders to allow access to the garden only through the living room and kitchen. There's so much to admire on the way through. in the day, Charlie, to be tempting your lap. But it's sunny, Tommy. You've got to be happy all day. This is no ordinary willow at the bottom of the garden. It's a corkscrew willow. If you look at the stems, you'll see they're twisted and spiralled. It's loved by flower rangers, especially in winter. It's a great focal point at this end. What I also thought I'd do is to use two dividers here, two pieces of trellis, which kind of fit in with it. It's called Tanglewood Trellis. And it's terribly enchanted forest. I thought this was rather fun. And this will hopefully end, if I get it out of the facade here, end the veg plot here. I'll cut a bit of this away, just let a bit more light in, and begin this little secluded area where Karen can sit and reflect on life. I think it'd be rather nice. This is the biz, just for evening out that soil, a rotavator. Palindrome, same backwards as forwards, rotavator. Just drop it in, you know. 15 to 20 pounds a day, not worth buying one if you want to get a quick job like this in the garden, but it is worth having someone, when it's a rotavator without wheels, to give you a lift with it. Willie? Yes, Alan? Let me carry this in. Of course, sir. He's a willing chap, and essential on the ground floor shoot. You know, as a quiet, relaxing pastime, you can't beat gardening. It's also good for a bit of a workout. The rotavator might be quicker than digging over the whole plot, but it's still quite physical. Meanwhile, Charlie, Darren and Chris are burning calories removing the dead apple tree, which is putting up a bit of a fight. Hold it there. Oh, you were right! <laughs> Ow! Cut 
cutting the roots while using the trunk as a lever encourages the stump to come out too. Just a neck, look, let me show you. Just, you just gotta flick it. <laughs> Tough, but someone's gonna do it. Such a short flick. <laughs> but if we just paint the plaques, it doesn't matter what you're doing, it's nail gunning it. It's not gonna be a problem. If the two Sarahs mm -hmm. can get on with it, it's iris blue, which is the dark blue of the timber paint. Oh, oh no, Sarah's my apprentice, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, she's. I can't old. lose she's Sarah. The relationship yeah. Yeah. I can't lose Sarah, she's wonderful, boots. see? Yeah, matching boots. She's very, very good. She's a natural talent. She said, I'm a very good teacher. What have you been telling her? <laughs> Behave. Out front, the paint squad. They're using water-based quick-drying paint, shade Iris Blue. So these groovy planks will be ready for Tommy to nail down sooner than Tommy will be ready to nail them. Oh, this is so therapeutic. Maybe when I get stressed in the branch, I'll have a little plank out the back to start painting. Here's a load of topsoil arriving, not because the soil here is poor, but because I want to build up the soil level in the planned vegetable beds. Oh, crumbs. Is that right? Yeah. I'm... The veg <laughs> garden will go in between the two sets of trellis, wooden at this end and rustic at the far end. I've got more of a problem here than I thought I had because if you look at the famous watch, it's five to two. Now the sun is already ducking behind this conifer um, and it's sort of south is about there. And because of this overhanging conifer and willow, this is quite shady now. Now veg like lots of light, so what we're going to have to do before we put these beds in is actually cut back this foliage a bit without making it look butchered so we get a bit more of the afternoon light in here. If you ever worry about whether or not you can take a branch off that's overhanging your garden from your neighbour, firstly ask, because generally neighbours are fairly amenable, but in legal terms you are allowed to remove it, provided you return it to them. Is this your tea? Yes. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's blossom tea now. Mm, actually, it's mine's the coffee. How are you down there, Tom? Yeah, you need to come to me a fraction, Will. Phew! Just gone four o'clock. Just gone four o'clock. Charlie and I are doing the, the veg beds, putting them together, spacing them out, getting them equidistant. Tommy's messing about somewhere up there on his deck. Um, and we've got an audience. Hello. 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 Karen. Now what are you going to say? I was supposed to say it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> then Spencer turned up. But you didn't say I love you. Well, I could, but I couldn't because I was with someone from work. Send out. Oh, you weren't though. No, no. You were lying. No, no, I, I couldn't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> OK, Sarah, where are you? Yeah. Would you like to hold the template? <laughs> You're not supposed to keep laughing like that. This is a very serious show. <clears throat> well, you all right, girls? We're fine. Come on, then. Done? Are you all done? Gonna... Done in. Don't know about done. done. <laughs> Finished <laughs> for the day. What are we? Cool, half past five. That'll do us, I think. The sun's beginning to set. This entire area here, we haven't done anything at yet at all, but it is now level and firm because we've been walking on this all day. Fence is still to paint, all the turf to lay with that big circle in the middle of borders to plant. But look, Mr Walsh has got on really well. 
Very nice, Mr. Walsh. Do <laughs> you like it? Lovely. Do you want to go in for a drink now, then? Oh, yeah, that's lovely. That's it. I've had enough. That's enough. Come on, then, chaps. Just tread carefully on the joists. Give us your hand, Carol. Good. <laughs> that's a good test, first thing in the morning. Walk the plank. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. morning. You've right? been out here all night? <laughs> hang on, hang on, you're a new one. I'm a new one. I've got, wait a minute, swatting time. Sarah, Darren, Sarah, Chris, Carol is near, but you're not Carol. I'm not Carol, I'm Dee, Karen's sister. You're Karen's sister, Karen's the girl we're doing it for? Yes. So what's your role in all this, Dee? Well, I'm going to be bringing her home very much later, you'll be pleased to hear. Very, very much later, if you all keep sitting here drinking tea. Yes. Right, come on, action plan, let's get at it. <laughs> This morning's orders, paint, paint, and then paint some more. When I design these gardens, it always worries me how much labour we've got, and we don't come with a workforce of 30, whatever you might hear, it's just us. But when you've got people like the two Sarahs and Carol helping you, and you know they'll bring their mates, you think, um... We could do with a bit more painting, couldn't we? And suddenly people start to turn up. This is Richard. He's a friend of a friend of a friend. And Dee's turned up today. And suddenly we've got all these people on all these panels. And it's such a blooming relief, I tell you. And all frames don't go. <laughs> of course, it's not all painting on ground force. Things need moving about, too, like this quality washed turf for the new lawn. They used to say, in the days of national service, if it moves, salute it. If it doesn't, paint it. Well, we say, if it moves, move it. If it doesn't move, paint it. But if it grows, plant it. Right. Shall we offer it up? Right. right. It's a bit... If you go down that end, it's a bit wibbly-wobbly. It is very wibbly-wobbly. But with posts and a bit of burial... Oh, it looks great, doesn't it? Can you see what it is yet? What a wobbly thing! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely because in every passing breeze, it's usually this gentle susurration. Yeah. Good and windy day. Yeah, Are we keeping it that colour? <laughs> <laughs> you have to paint it. It's a poor man. It's nearly that colour anyway. So this will grow then? Yeah, you've got to plant it by the end of April, uh, and then it will grow. After that, it's, it's started growing, and it's too late. You need to get your welly, really, your boot behind it. Okay. Good yeah. Please do that. The pile of topsoil delivered yesterday is for the veg beds contained within wooden surrounds, painted. Okay. Yep. How much is left? Quite a bit. Now, vegetables, especially brassicas, lack firm soil to get their roots into, so this needs a good treading down. On the other hand... Of course, there are other ways of firming your soil. I've always wanted to do a kitchen garden on ground force, and we never have, just to show how attractive they can be, as well as useful and economical, with salad bowl lettuces around the edge, the frilly green one, and lolo rosso, which is burnished with red. Even things like cabbage can be colourful if you get the variety. This is one called Ortoro, an F1 hybrid. And at the back here, a big clump of lovage. There's no better way to fetch your supper than to take a trip down your garden. Homegrown veg are stuffed with the vitamins lost between picking and serving, and they taste wonderful, especially if you grow them organically. Mixed, dense plantings help organic growing because they make it difficult for pests to spread through a crop, they reduce the weeds by crowding them out, and they make the whole garden look good enough to eat, which it is.
A good watering in is vital to get these plug plants growing away, but this is about as close to her favourite element as Charlie's likely to get this week. Yes? I'm perilously close to junking this pool on the deck. Oh. I'm not having it. I don't. I want it desperately, but he's not got a plank laid. It's quarter to one. It's, I think it's a bigger area than we bargained for. Um, now he can. He's doing that. I'm sorry. I desperately want moving water up there. But if something's got to go, that's going to have to be my water that, feature. My water feature. Thank you. Well, I'll do my best. We're going to moan at him. I'm moaning, but you know what he's like when he gets in a strop. Yeah. Tommy, we're going to have to ditch that pond. Sorry. It's all right, I'm not going to bet you this time. I'm too tired today. So, But we'll see. We'll leave it as an open option, as an alternative. That's the last just thing case. you do, but I don't know where you're oh. going to do it. Because all this has got to be turfed. Yeah. You don't, don't right. worry. One o'clock. <laughs> All Tommy's stuff is in our way now. Charlie and I want to get on with the planting. He'll just have to work on the bit of decking he's done. In a bit more, how's that? I can't see. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> well, I could probably come up with a few suggestions if you want. And there's no need to be smart. <laughs> Where are you gonna, where's that got to go? Uh, on the wall. What, and you want to put it up now? Well, I want it out my way while I'm doing the borders. Oh, very important, yeah. Well, they are. A garden's not very pretty with no plants in it. I don't know whether you noticed. Those six by twos, Alan, they can go out because. So they'll go out. Right. Yeah, if we're not. All that stuff, if we're not going to do the water feature. <coughs> right. We're not doing the water feature. I'm sorry about the water feature. You had to okay. go. No, don't worry. Well, no it gives problem. us something to do herself. She can have a project now, can't she? Yeah. Charlie will get over it. Too much to do to brood, if you'll pardon the term, like spreading the mulch for the paths between the veg beds. Half past three, so we've two hours to go. So we're doing quite well down this end of the garden, but he still hasn't finished the deck and we still haven't laid the turf. So to get a lawn laid, strip, circle, strip, and half a board plant and the deck finished, it's pretty tall order. Between the two flower borders where the turf will go, the ground has become compacted from walking on, so first it needs a good rake over. A dose of fertiliser will help the washed turf to root into the soil. Dee is being driven off to meet Karen. A little shopping is planned to delay Karen's arrival, so that'll be about next week then. Five. She's okay. coming down the road at half past. Yep, and the house is being completely clean now. It is now? Yep, so it's nearly looking clean. Oh. 20 minutes. Three pieces, and then I'm out of here. I'm decked out. <laughs> And I'd sort these pots off out now if I can. Yeah. There's a bit of muck underneath where that wall was drilled. Can we clear, literally clear the deck now? Just plonk them down there. Then I'll need to get everybody out of the way. 15 minutes. 10 minutes, should we? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Can we clear everybody out of the way of the deck? And that includes you. We'll see what it looks like. Maybe not. But we'll move the chairs around. Oh! <laughs> we need some bodies out of here. Clear up. I've told you once. Go on. She's on her way, she's on her way. Come on, in your corner. Right, quick. quick. <laughs> Charlie. Tommy. You'll have to come back a bit. She's outside. Yeah, she's here. Oh, my God! I'm just going to show you. 
Welcome to your new garden, Mr. Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Hello. Tommy. And Tommy, my hero. This isn't real. This isn't real. This really isn't real. And a cab. Well, I have to tell you that you have the best. I can't believe this. You have the best this workforce. Is not a <laughs> you have the best workforce outside ground force in your friends because they work like troopers. And this was their battlefield, turned in two days into three gardens. At the far end, the willow glade, the living willow screens framing the existing willow that merges with the wild woodland beyond. From the trees to the cultivated world, the vegetable garden with its promise of bounty to come in a setting both practical and pleasing to the eye. Closer still to the house, the borders frame the central lawn with painted trellis acting as the garden's dividers. Last but not least, the decking, waterless, save for the jug. Would you like a glass or something? Oh, Because I oh, would. <laughs> oh, well done, I love it! I can't believe it! You're in my house! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Yay! Yay. You have the hardest bunch of workers we have ever encountered. So thanks to them. From the Ground Force team in the blue and yellow of Buckhurst Hill. Ta da! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> picture of Alan by the side of my bed in oh, How to Be a Super yeah. Gardener. There you are, don't show them that one. It's very old, I was very young. Oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> 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 <laughs>